It sounds like what you're asking is like, how do we know that this explanation is a higher probability or more, it makes more sense than another yeah. explanation? And this is what we're always doing in criminal trials, right? So one thing I learned a long time ago is that I built cumulative cases. I don't bring in one witness to say he did it because if they can discredit the one witness, our trial is done, it's over. Instead, I bring in 100 pieces of evidence that when used in totality, make it really hard to have any other reasonable inference. So as I'm looking, we're always looking for causal agents, right? I think most everyone agrees there's something that causes the universe. The question is, is this a personal cause or an impersonal cause? Now I look at the, uh, what I see in the evidence of the universe, I think there are eight features of the, uh, of the universe that everyone has a duty to explain whether you're a Christian or not. You got the origin of the universe needs to be explained. The fine tuning of the universe needs to be explained. The origin of life in the universe needs to be explained. The appearance of design and biology needs to be explained. The fact that we have consciousness that emerges out of an entirely physicalistic process, and then that we have free agency, this has to be explained. The fact that we, have, we know that there are objective, transcendent moral standards and truths and obligations has to be explained. And we even think that there's true evil in the universe, which means we've got to explain the, the standard of righteousness by which we could measure something and call it evil. We have those eight things to explain. And we both share a burden of proof, because burdens of proof are always based on causal explanation.